Hey guys, this is going to be the first video in a series of many I'm making for a friend just to teach him how to use his computer, learn some syntax, learn how to do some basic things. I figured I'd just publish them publicly on YouTube, so if anyone else is interested in it, or you have people who are constantly asking you how to do things, uh, you can kind of point them in this direction as a basic resource. Um, either way, um, you guys might see something wrong with it, or I might see something different. If you want to comment, that's fine too. Uh, just hit me up and uh, you know maybe I'll make some changes. But uh, without further ado, uh, this first video is going to be just basic desktop, what things are called, uh, so when we talk to each other, we're speaking the same language. Um, so this pretty picture of wood is my desktop wallpaper. This is my desktop. It's my virtual space to work. Um, on this desktop at the bottom, you'll see that there's what we call a taskbar. And there's some components to this we'll go into depth a little bit more on. Um, at the top, I just have one desktop icon, which is my recycle bin, which we'll extrapolate on that as well. Um, but desktop, on the bottom we have our taskbar, and then we have icons that go on our desktop. Icons are just visual representations of programs, applications, things we'll want to use later. You can add shortcuts to websites, you can add shortcuts to programs you want to run, uh, files like pictures, any of that fun stuff. Um, so we'll do a bunch of those as exercises too. At the bottom here, the first thing you see on your taskbar is the start menu. If you click that, this is also uh, a quick access to get to your files, things that are installed on your computer as well. Um, so we'll learn how to organize those things, restructure them, put them in groups, name them, all kinds of fun stuff there too. So that'll be a major navigational component for us. So on the taskbar, we have our start menu, which we can click that button. Or on your keyboard, there's also a picture of the Windows icon that you can press and it'll open it as well, if you want to take a look for that and click it. So our desktop, our desktop icons, our taskbar, our start menu. And then these are icons as well uh, that you can add, you can remove, but they'll be basic shortcuts, easy ways to access the same things as your desktop icons would. So you can open File Explorer, uh, you can put programs down here that you like to run. One is common is Google Chrome, which is a web browser, we'll go into that too. Um, but those will be down here too. And this will also show you any current applications or files, folders you have open. So a good example is I have a LibreOffice file open, um, and then I have OBS open recording this video. Uh, so you can get a visual representation of that as well. And then if you go to the far, far right here, we have our task tray, our system tray. Um, we'll call it sys tray for short. Um, this little up caret just shows you, if you mouse over it, show hidden icons. So if you click that, it'll show you all these things that are running on your computer right now. Some of them are pretty basic for Windows. You'll always have some kind of audio manager. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll have, so you have Windows Defender here. This is for Bluetooth, which is usually installed on pretty much any computer or laptop that's newer these days. A USB device manager to um, access your USB devices or eject them safely. Um, so these are just applications or things that are currently running uh, that you can access as well. So there's a giant common theme here. Your desktop, uh, your start menu, your, um, you know, your task trays down here. All of this stuff is just pretty visual representations that you can click to get to something you need to do. Um, not, not very convoluted, not very hard. We'll learn how to manipulate them though so they make more sense. Uh, a big one here too uh, is always your, your clock. And it gives you, it's a calendar if you click it, date, time, uh, and your system volume, you can turn it up and down. Uh, and this is network status too. So if you have a wired connection, it shows up here. Uh, wireless connection, same thing. That'll look like a bunch of bars. Uh, on the far right, one of the things I find super annoying, I don't know if anybody likes it, is a notification center. So if you click this, notifications will pop up over time. Uh, you need a system update. Uh, Dell wants you to do something if you have a Dell computer. Those always live here. All kinds of things. And that integrates with web browsers as well. Um, so you can get from your favorite websites notifications. Um, I just find it super annoying and I like to silence them, but we'll, we'll see if we can play around with that too. Um, and then on the far, far right, you can barely see it here, which makes it pretty cumbersome to touch, but there's a little node you can click and that'll take you right back to your desktop. So if I had this folder open, this, this file explorer window, and I clicked that little far right segment, it'll take me back to my desktop. Um, 
the easier alternative to trying to find that and then click it is just to hold your Windows key on your keyboard and hit D for desktop, and that'll take you right back. So same thing, just a different way to go about it. So to summarize this, we have our desktop. The picture is a desktop wallpaper, and you, you can make that a solid color. You can make it any picture you want, your family, your pets, whatever. Um, you have icons. You have your start menu. You have your taskbar. You have your system tray, your message center, and then a, a show desktop button. And that's going to be our first video.